okay, you're going to debunk this false teaching by Stephen Anderson that the rapture is the second coming. He, a lot of, a lot of him and his little poster buddies, these heretics, these uh, satanic poster heretics, and it is a very, very satanic heresy, they try to say that the rapture is the second coming, and they'll take verses that are talking about they're actually talking about the rapture and they'll blend them in with verses that put the second coming because they do they because they sound similar so they blend them together and say see look the second coming is the same thing as the rapture and this is also how they try to use matthew chapter 24 because matthew chapter 24 is not talking about the rapture but they want to they want to they have to make it so it is so they have to say that the second coming is the rapture you know and he, he you're going to see him, he goes on later on to say that that uh jesus christ coming down the white horse is not the second coming so wait a second, the uh, second coming is the rapture, so Jesus Christ comes back again for a third time on the white horse? Huh? You know, you're going to see him actually say that. So wait a second, Jesus has a third coming then, basically? You know, because he says the first coming is Bethlehem, second coming is the rapture, so the third coming is the white horse. You know, and I'm not putting words in his mouth, that's what he's implying. He'll, he's going to imply this in this video. It's just mentally insane, and just biblically illiterate too i mean any basic understanding of the rapture would would not have you conclude such ridiculous conclusions like that okay let's get right into this now he says in verse number 40 he says then shall two be in the field the one shall be taken and the other left two women shall be grinding at the mill the one shall be taken and the other left watch therefore for you know not what hour your lord doth come and these verses is where the movie left behind takes its title where he talks about two people being in the field, right? One's taken, the other's what? Left behind, you know, left behind. That's where they're getting this from. Saying, you know, one's taken, the other left. So what's funny is that then to people to defend their false movie and their false book series, here's what they'll say, oh, Matthew 24 is not about the rapture. Um, it's not, okay? Where If Matthew 24 is about the rapture, where is the mention of dead saints rising first? Because in every rapture passage, there's always a mention of dead saints rising first. Where is that? Where, where, where in Mark 13, Matthew 24, Luke 17, Luke 21, where is there any mention of dead saints rising first? Because it's not talking about the rapture. It's talking about the second coming. They'll say Matthew 24 is not about the rapture. It's about the second coming of Christ. Well, first of all, 1 Thessalonians 4, the most famous rapture passage, calls the rapture the coming of the Lord. So unless it's coming 1.5, that would make it the second coming, right? First coming, Bethlehem. Second coming, in the clouds, trumpet sounds, we're caught up together with him, according to 1 Thessalonians 4. You say, oh, Revelation 19, you know, he comes on a white horse at Armageddon. That's never called the coming of Christ. Show me one place in the Bible where Jesus on the white horse at Armageddon is ever called the coming of Christ. So... Let me get this straight. So Jesus' first coming was in Bethlehem. His second coming is at the rapture. So he has a third coming, which is the the white horse. I mean, it, it, unless that's just spiritual too, or something like that. You know, huh? I mean, what? What is it? It's totally heretical. I mean, the, the Holy Spirit is not leading him to believe this kind of stuff. You know, just totally biblically biblically Ill illiterate, mentally and mentally insane too. I mean. I mean, so Jesus has a third coming now. Like, yeah, I mean, just, and people who are deceived by, I was just deceived by him for quite a while too. So, uh, the reason why I come out against him so much is because I used to be deceived by this guy. And this is some pretty heretical stuff right here. I mean, so Jesus has a third coming now. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. It isn't there. And if it were called the coming of Christ, it would be a third coming. But that's, not, it's never called that. It's never referred to as that. Whenever we see the coming... So basically, the white horse is, I guess, just symbolic or something. It's not actually going to happen. Messed up. Of our Lord Jesus Christ, with all his saints, for example, that's where it says, them that are asleep in Jesus will God bring with them. Okay? And oh, I mean, it just it hurts my brain. Okay, when Jesus Christ comes back, the saints are come back with him, but it's not the rapture. I mean, messed up. Just totally messed up. And people who are deceived by him... I mean, just get out of this cult. It's crazy. At the rapture, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, people will say, well, the difference between the rapture and the second coming is that at the rapture he comes for his saints, and at the second coming he comes with his saints. Wait a minute. 
It says... That's what the Bible teaches. I mean, see how he's mocking it? He's a mocker. He doesn't believe the Bible. Uh, that's what the Bible teaches. He comes for the body of Christ, and then we come back down with him at the second coming. You know, just It's what the Bible teaches. You know, either, either he's purposely deceiving people, or he's just very, very illiterate in the Scripture. That if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him at the rapture. So he's coming with his saints. Yeah, we get called up with him in the clouds. I mean, what? At the rapture. That's what the Bible says. I mean, they, they have all these cute things of the difference between the second coming and the rapture. No, the rapture is the second coming. That's what it's called, the coming of our Lord. Okay, people don't disappear. So, the, let me get this straight. The coming of our Lord is actually called the second coming. But Jesus already had a first coming, so that would be the coming of the Lord, too. What? I mean, he's so messed up. Let me show you some scripture on this, because typical of all these post-tribber heretics, they always have to say that Matthew chapter 24, it proves, because it says, he, it says, after the tribulation. Okay, let me read it for you. Immediately after the tribulation, keep reading, of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heaven shall be shaken. And then shall appear the, a, the sign of the Son of Man in the heaven, or in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. You can compare this back where it talks about how, you know, they're, they'll mourn for him. You know, paraphrasing, of course, but it talks about how they're going to mourn for him whom they have pierced. And you can compare that back with that. Um, you know, because, because you know, the Jews, they, they pierced Jesus Christ on the cross. So when he comes back, they're going to see him pierced and they're going to mourn. Because they're going to realize that he's God. He's our Messiah. You know, we, and we, all these years we rejected him. They're going to mourn. So, a little tie-in right there. And they shall see the Son of Man in coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet. And he shall gather together his elect, and the elect is referring to the Jews, from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. Okay, uh, where is the mention of dead saints rising first? If this is about the rapture, where is the mention of dead saints? It's not in there. Okay, uh, the angels are coming together. It's about it's basically the judgment of the nations. They're gathering the people together to be judged, and then of course in comes the millennial kingdom. This is not talking about the rapture. Okay, show me anywhere in Matthew twenty four where dead saints are mentioned rising first. Let me show you that. Second Thessalonians chapter two. You go down there, or sorry, I mean First uh, Corinthians fifteen as one, as one I was thinking of. Goes down there. Uh, where's that verse? I'm trying, to th I'm trying to remember. The, I'm trying to remember where the verse is. Here it is. First uh, Corinthians fifteen fifty two. Uh, in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. The dead are raised first. Second Thessalonians chapter two. Another uh, rapture passage. Sorry, I'm just I'm just skimming through this thing. I'm trying to remember where it is. Yeah, there it is. Actually, sorry. Let, let me just get back to him. I'm trying. To, I'm just trying to find the verse. Okay, sorry. I was actually look. I was actually. Uh, I was in second. I was in second Thessalonians. I actually got. I got it mixed up with first uh, Thessalonians. For it was in first Thessalonians. That was the one I was looking for. Just got it mixed up there because I was thinking of the passage that talks about the the man of sin being revealed. I, I got mixed up. So see, I'm still fallible. I still admit to being wrong. I can still make mistakes. This is the coming of the Lord. This is not the second coming. It goes down there. You can read the whole thing. It does talk about we're caught up together in the clouds. Then it says, uh, where is the verse? Then we which are alive uh, and remain shall be caught up together with him in the clouds to meet the Lord near. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Okay, so Matthew 24 talks about how the angels are gathering them together. Where is that mentioned here? Where is the mention of angels gathering them together? You know? Not, not there, because it's not dealing with the second, not dealing with the rapture, but the second coming. You know, and again, wh you know, where's the mention of dead saints rising in Matthew twenty-four? It's not in there. Okay, this is about the rapture, the coming of the Lord. Okay, Matthew twenty-four, Mark thirteen are about the second coming, because Christ comes back. They mourn for him whom they have pierced. You can compare that back with that verse, and they are basically gathering together the people together to be judged. That's what that's what's going on there. So don't be deceived by this doctrine that, oh, the rapture is the second coming. No, it's not. Okay? And then Jesus apparently has a third coming because he comes back on the white horse. You know, messed up. Totally messed up. So don't be deceived. God bless you. Goodbye.